you must have come across textures like this before, which are partially transparent or translucent. These textures contain an alpha channel, which determines the areas of transparency. But did you know that you can create your own alpha channels in Blender? Let's check out how to do that. We'll take this little head as an example. It has a hair mesh on top of it, with a diffuse texture applied. But let's remove these sharp edges by softening them, and maybe also give him a fade trim. Make sure that you have a texture baked before, so that you can add these alpha changes over it. First when you check the alpha channel of your texture, it will be all white, which means completely opaque. We need to add some areas of grey and black to it, which brings transparency. First connect the alpha channel to the alpha link of the shader node, so that you can see any changes to it. Also, don't forget to go to the material properties, and in the viewport display change the blend mode to alpha blend. Now let's select the texture and go to the texture painting window. If you start painting here, it will just edit the diffuse map. To edit the alpha channel, select this blending mode drop down and select remove alpha. This will help us remove the areas of complete white, where we want. You can now start painting on the texture or the mesh and see how it affects it. Make sure to be in the look dev mode so you can see the changes. And there it is. It's good that I'm not a hairdresser. Now when you check the alpha channel, you'll see areas of grey, and this means the transparency information is added to the texture. To save this texture, select RGBA so that it saves the alpha information too. You can use alpha channels for anything, like terrains, leaves, or props. Hope this helps you in some way in your projects. If you found it useful, please leave a like. If you wish to see more, please subscribe. Thanks.